Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So as we start in prayer, we are celebrating our eighth anniversary. So we're going to um, just pray in this in this moment of celebration and just being in awe of what God has done and what He's continuing to do and how He's continuing to move and bless. Amen. 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 So uh, the scripture I want to bring is Psalms 34 and 8 in the Amplified. It says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord our God is good. How blessed, fortunate, prosperous, and favored by God is the man who takes refuge in him. And so because we have, as a church, as Abundant Life, we have decided and made it our mission to take refuge in him regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the situations, regardless of the conditions, we are rejoicing today. We can rejoice. We have been blessed. We have been uh, favored. God has continued to grow us uh, and mature us. That we are not the same people we were eight years ago. Amen. We're not the same people we were last year. And we are coming in an expectation that God is going to do even more. Amen. Father God, we just thank you for allowing us to come into your presence. God, we ask that you continue to just have your way. Father, we trust you wholly. So God, we say have your way in this service. This is your day. This is your service. This is your church. We are your people. So Father, we just come and say have your way. Let us be open to hear from the Spirit. Let us be open to move where you say move. Let us be open to do exactly what it is that you have ordained for today so that your people may be fed, that your people will leave uh, um, not still being hungry, but fully fed on your word, on your promises, on your love. And that we will not only be fed, but we'll have an uh, abundance. We'll have an overflow of all that it is that you have for us. God, I ask that you would touch each and every person um, as they come into these doors today. Father, let anything that would be a distraction, anything that would be a deterrent, anything that would be uh, um, something that would push their minds uh, away from you, God. Let that leave at the door. Let it fall from them uh, as, as scales from their eyes. Let it fall from them as they walk through these doors because your Holy Spirit has has um, rule over this place. And so we are just coming in with an expectation. We're coming in with an expectation of abundance. We're coming in with an expectation of love. We're coming in with an expectation of an experience today. You have been showing us each and every day how much you love us and care for us and so god we are just coming in an exciting manner just coming with a joyful overflow of what you will do today god we ask that you will continue to bless uh the speaker that as they come they will be um be be ready and open to speak your word god we ask that you would touch her and her body that she would have uh, a great rest after the pouring out that you are going to do today and so she will not be in any lack at all father Amen. so god we just say have your way we ask all these things in jesus name amen amen And as we continue in prayer, Father, we are thanking you that this is a time um, not only of the eight-year celebration, but if you think about eight, eight is new beginnings. Uh, and I just want to say this. Let me just prophesy this to you even starting this morning. God said you have stuck in. You have stayed the course. You have done the work he has called you to do. And he said now there's a new beginning. That's why this, 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 even this day, we're calling it the, t the message of the reset. Uh, it's not that you're going back. It's not that you're doing over. God sometimes just resets us for the purpose. He gives us a renewing of what it is that he's called for us to do. He reminds us that we've come this far by faith and that we're going to continue on the journey. And so, Father, today we give you praise right now in the name of Jesus. I am so glad when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord together. Let's rejoice in this place. Father, we thank you for we have breath in our body. We woke up this morning. Somebody didn't wake up this morning and we're glad that you decided that you still had purpose for us. See, if you woke up this morning, God said, I still have need of you. You, He didn't just wake you up because he didn't have nothing better to do. He woke you up because you got a purpose on your life. Uh -huh. I, 
I, I prayed on Mount Movers and I said that not only are we waiting on promises, but can I tell you today, you are a promise. God, we thank you today that we are a promise being manifested in the earth. And we thank you that, Lord God, nothing and nothing and nothing, did you hear me? Nothing is going to stand in the way of us being able to walk out what you've called for us to do. We're going to walk out in our purpose. Yes, we may get discouraged sometimes. Yes, we may even get fatigued and tired, but I thank you because God said he will renew our strength. I thank you today, Lord God, that you will give us new strength. I thank you today, Lord God, that you will revive us, and we are asking you to do just that. Revive us in this place. May your spirit come in and just take total prayer, total uh, take to take over this place totally in the name of Jesus. Lord God, even from the beginning, even as we pray, Lord God, help us to get our minds in a tune to you. Lord God, as we go into worship, just like you visit us on last week, oh Jesus, the sweet presence of the Lord was in this room, and because your sweet presence was here, we have an expectation that your sweet presence is going to be here again. Uh, not because we deserve it, because we don't even deserve it, but we thank you, Lord God, that you saw fit to allow us into your presence. So we just say, Holy Ghost, come on in this place. Come in this place and take over. May every seat, no matter where nobody sit, may they not find a seat void of your presence. When they sit today, may you even minister to them wherever they have need of in their hearts, in their minds, in their souls, in their spirit. Let us go out of this place having had a full meal, huh? uh, being over full. Huh? Uh, that we go out and we like, Lord, I am full today. Why? Not because of the natural food but because of the spiritual food that you're going to feed us. God, I ask you right now to help our minds tune in to this place. Lord God, I help us to cut out cut out what's out there because sometimes our mind can get focused out there. Focus us in here right now in the name of Jesus so we don't miss what you want us to receive in this place for our time, for our season. Uh, God, we thank you. Uh, we thank you for uh, the prophet Bernadette coming today to do the word. And, and God, we just thank you that it is going to be one that is it's needed in the place. And so God, we just thank you today. We thank you for victory. I decree and declare that we're walking into the season where we're going to see the manifestation of the things we've been praying for. We're going to see the manifestation of the things we've been hoping for. We're going to see the manifestation of the things God has promised to us. So Father, we thank you for this being a time and season of manifestation. I don't care what the world say. I don't even care what it looked like because we know you to be a promise keeper. In the midst of what looked like it could be a drought, you can still bring an overflow. Where, where places where it looked like things are in decay, you can bring new life. And we thank you that you are rising us up, raising us up, bringing new life into to our bodies. I thank you for healing today. Lord, heal bodies. Touch us in the name of Jesus in every aspect. Lord God, I thank you for renewed strength. Lord, we thank you for renewed strength today. Uh, God, I thank you for removing headaches, uh, backaches, uh, touches in legs and feet and arms. So why? Lord God, so we can jump, we can praise. We have no hindrance to us being able to worship you today. Uh, God, we just say thank you uh, for you are a promise keeper and we give you praise for that. Now, Lord God, we say have your way in every aspect today. Touch your people. Help us, Lord God, because we, we've been preparing to this season. You've been taking us through some things. We've renounced some places that we don't need to be in agreement with. We've come to the place where we said, Lord, uh, we want our worship to be different. And when we prayed last week that our worship would be about you, you then came in and took over. So, Father, we just come in agreement with that again today, that our worship is not about us. Our worship is not focused on us. Our worship is not even about what I need, what I came to get. Our worship is because you God and you deserve it. Our worship is take my worship, huh? all that I give unto you. Receive it unto you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And when you do, I know you're going to release unto us. Huh? When you when we release to you, I know you're going to release unto us. Why? Because that's just the God that you are. So, Father, we are, we are in a place of expectancy. Uh, we, your children are expecting a move from you. Your children are expecting your presence. Your children are expecting you to speak to us, talk to us, minister to us. And Father, we just say thank you for all that you're going to do today. And now, Father, we just give you the praise. We give you the honor. We say just have your way. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Join us back at 930. Amen.